All right. Um, yeah, disappointed that we lost yesterday to Arsenal. Think they were there for the taking a little bit, especially as the game wore on toward the end. We were definitely the better team. Uh, just going back a little bit, the lineup was a little weird. Uh, I had some misgivings when I saw Sigurdsson playing kind of on the wing or whatever you call that position in a 4-4-2 and, um, you know, a Wobie on the opposite side that I thought he should be on, I think. Um, uh, just really weird. So, um, Delph and Snyderlin. More worried about Delph than Snyderlin just because Snyderlin's not been poor as of late. Um, but anyway, uh, Dinier was hurt, so Baines was in. But actually, that was actually the most comfortable change I was I saw because Baines usually does a good job when he comes in to relieve someone. So um, I think that bore out yesterday. He did play well. Um, but, yeah, we scored really quick. That was awesome. I uh, thought it was a header at first, but it turns out to be a wheel kick. Um, which is a bit of a weird set piece. I, I don't know what was happening with Yerry Mina when he – he charges off before the ball is kicked and drags some other people forward. And I know, you know, it didn't end up being off sides or, or the goal getting reversed, so whatever. Um, and then after that, I mean, Arsenal had the ball a lot, and they kind of at first weren't really doing much until, uh, I don't know the dude's name, he got hurt, but then they're promising young left back slash left winger, wing back, wing back, whatever. Saka came on and... He ends up being the catalyst for their first goal with a really good cross that nobody was able to get on the other end of, at least from our team. <laughs> and uh, they end up scoring from that. Um, the second goal they scored sucked because David Luis just kicks a ball from you know their side of the pitch all the way through to uh, what's his name, Aubameyang, and then. You know, 2-1 Arsenal. So that one was probably the most needless goal up to that point. Uh, felt like Sidibe just fell asleep. Sidibe kind of fell asleep on the other goal, too. Um, and I think Obamian was giving him problems down that side, him and Awobi. Uh I don't know if they were supposed to double up on him or that they, they just the coverage between those two was bad on that side. And... Um, it caused problems for us, and they ended up 2-1 by the, almost by the end of the half. Uh, before the half ended, that goal where, uh, you know, another set piece. We were the set piece kings yesterday. Um, uh, I forget who took it, um, but I do know that Yerry Mina got his head on it and that Richarlison sort of toe-swiped at it, and it went in. I think Richarlison got credited with the goal, but uh, Yerry Mina's head header kind of was the main catalyst for that ball going toward the net so whatever if it helps for Charleston to have the goal and helps his confidence to keep going I think the whole team would be cool with that and um uh what else so we go into two you're kind of like we haven't been playing well I don't think we played really that well we other than scoring two goals <laughs> um and uh then, you know, whatever Ancelotti said to him at halftime didn't work because they came out and gave up a goal right away. As quick as we scored that one in the first half is, is almost as quick as the second one came uh, or the third one came for Arsenal. Just a, uh, I think it was another set piece or something, but it got to uh, Bamiang. He's just free to head it in. And I don't know who was supposed to be covering him, but they failed. And uh, what else after that? You know, really not much for me that I remember other than Sigerson was terrible. Um, don't know why we're paying him or, I mean, I'm trying to not to be so harsh on players because they're people too, but he just had a really bad game. He was all off the mark. Um, really disappointed in his play, but I was also disappointed in Awobi. I thought he would show up a little bit. Uh, against his former team. I don't know why I thought that because typically, I, in my experience in sports, you know, players don't always do so well against their former team. It's just like this extra little uh, bit of, you know, thing to worry about in their head and they just kind of play off. I mean, I feel like Rashawson kind of suffered from that against Wofford 
uh, for last season and uh, not so much the last, you know, this season. He, he kind of started, you know, that last goal where we went up and won that game away. But um, well, we let me down. Let's just leave it there. Uh, and then uh, uh, Ancelotti subbed off um, – I think it was Awobi and Snyderland for Gomez and Bernard. And then it kind of changed for us in the second half because Gomez is just boss. He doesn't mess around and let people just shove him off the ball. He's not really afraid of the contact, which is what I love about him. He's constantly stiff-arming dudes that are trying to come up from behind him and just push him off the ball, which I don't know why the refs let that go anyway. Why can't you just run up from behind and shove a guy? He goes down, and they get to keep the ball? That's not a foul? Whatever. Uh, that was happening a lot yesterday, and the refs weren't calling it. So, uh, But that didn't work with Gomez. He just is he's not about that and he will put you on your butt uh, <laughs> if you try it and he was you know making space for himself and pinging the balls out to where they need to be a lot of the times Rashadson was on the other end of that and he was in free space running at their at their goal and it's causing a lot of problems for Arsenal they look totally uncomfortable I don't care what any Arsenal fan said says you were nervous that last you know last 30 minutes of the second half you didn't think you had it comfortable comfortably and uh i mean that's all we can claim though is that we we put a little scare in them because we didn't we didn't finish cavaloon had a couple chances i mean he kind of reverted back to the criticism he had before he went on this goal scoring run which was he can't finish you know (laughs) he scores the hard ones but not the easy ones so he had a couple tap-ins like a kind of a close one right up on the goalie he kicks into the goalie and then uh a header that goes just wide um but whatever, um, he wasn't the worst player out there. Neither of them, neither him or Rashawson were. They they did their best. They both had goals at the end of the day. <laughs> um, and Bernard was okay, but really impressed with Gomez and having him back. Arsenal may have been leggy from just having played the Thursday before, but whatever. I mean, they put on some reinforcements to try and press, and Gomez was part of breaking that press, and we were getting pressure on him. We just weren't scoring. So it was good to see Gomez uh, show his old form so quickly after a horrific injury. It was one of the worst sporting days of my life, just watching sports and seeing something like that happen to a team I follow and care about. So um, we lost 3-2, couldn't couldn't win it in the end, and, you know, probably dampens our chances of getting in the Champions League, which I didn't think we would anyway. I um, think that's really really ambitious uh but with a little luck anything can happen europe they don't know maybe that's maybe that's slipping away a little bit too i know we probably need to at least get something out of the man U game it's going to be a tough game but hopefully goodison uh the game being at goodison can help and uh because we thumped them last year there and they kind of folded under the the roar the crowd and all of that so hopefully we can get that again and that's really it I mean I I don't think you know this loss doesn't feel like a lot of other losses where the team just sort of wilted we we applied some pressure at the end there and the team didn't give up I think the team wanted to come away with something a win and at least three at least one point but just couldn't couldn't get that last goal you know to fall so I'm encouraged by that, just seeing how the players didn't sort of just shrink and play within themselves and wilt away and just waste time with the ball. You know, we Arsenal was trying to time waste, and we weren't letting them have it. We were breaking them down and getting in there, but just couldn't finish. So, you know, you take the victories where you can get them like that. So um, just on to the next one, up the toffees.